Last Saturday night in Edmonton, Zach Hyman was whistled for boarding on Rasmus Anderson. And I think a penalty was the right call here, but if you watch the play closely, Anderson completely bungles what he's trying to do. He's trying to dump the puck in. Hyman is in perfect position, stick out, low posture. He's angled with his skates to the left away from Anderson, trying to cut off his path into the zone and block that dump in. When Anderson fumbles the puck, Hyman has no choice but to turn toward him. And that's the key here, is that Anderson actually does fumble. If you watch here, he attempts to do the dump in right there, and he misses. It's not like he made a sudden move, he still had possession of the puck and made a cutback. He wanted to dump the puck in, Hyman was in position to block that dump in, and when things went wrong for Anderson, what could Hyman do there? It was an unexpected play, unlike some of these other ones where people still have the puck and then they make a quick cut back to try and do an escape move. The four checker in that case should be expecting that sort of play. But Anderson goes to do his dump in and just whiffs on it completely. So now he's in panic mode. He turns his back to go for the puck as he should, but Hyman has nowhere to go here. If Hyman didn't do all the things correctly, like stick down, attempting to play the puck, and not really going for a check, but rather turning in to close off Anderson, all of those things tell me that his intention was hockey-related, that he wasn't going in for body no matter what, and that he was completely caught off guard by the sudden change in Anderson's posture. So while I think he could have done a lot more to soften the blow, which is why I am glad he got a penalty, no further supplemental discipline is required. It's just a hockey play gone wrong.